It's time! So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, nice combo. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. 
fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land a strike. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Keep pushing forward. Let's go. Nice block. have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Big punch land. Ooh. Straight right hand, no good. And just misses with that big right hand. That's a beautiful body kick. Strike there. Strong work by Lee. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under two minutes to go in the round. Punch got blocked there. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, good block there. Great time for the takeout. Beautiful finish. Look for him now to try to work to a submission. Oh, right in the mouth. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Overhand punch to the head. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in rush. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nice block. Round two straight ahead. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. quarter. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Nice job by him defensively there. Working off the jab, it's good. 
Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice. Unable to connect with the ref. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even miss this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Not there. Right on the button. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head running the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Just missed with the left there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yes, yeah, an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Trying to establish that jab once again. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice head kick. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And, man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful 
that he can get it back together before it started the next round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Good punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Able to block the punch there. Good body shot. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly should. Oh! Big combination. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Making all these shots count. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back home after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Down defense is there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the big shot on the beat. He's got to try to finish here. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Oh, he didn't like that one. Good head movement there. Nice slip. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Under a minute now to go in the round. Good jab there by the chip. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Let's go. Keep moving Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good.
The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a 